So behind me is Jacoby's 2019 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. I gotta apologize, guys. My don't got my hat, don't got my shirt, my company shirt. But I'm Charles from Function Facts Performance, and we're here at Black Market Racing in their Dyna room using their Dyna Jet. And behind me again is this 2019 Ford Mustang that is all stock. So it has been a while since we, we were supposed to do this project. So Jacoby did install some modifications to the car and we're gonna be removing them so that we can get a baseline on this car. The only thing we can't remove is the exhaust. So it does have a slip on exhaust on the rear section, but it's only an axle back. It does have mufflers. I would say the mufflers are 50-50 uh, less restrictive, 50% if that. So we're gonna see a mild, mild horsepower gain. But we are going to do a pull. So uh, stage zero, so it's not tuned. Full stock base map. So our first run will be on the stock air box, stock air tube that is right next to Chase that he'll be installing. The second one is gonna be our air raid intake with drop-in filter. I believe that's called a junior package. And then our next one's gonna be our Roush intake. That's gonna be our most complex system that has a closed. That one does not, the 2018 does have a closed inbox. So 2018 plus is closed, 2015 to 2017 is not closed. It uses the hood to actually close the box. And last but not least, we're gonna be using the full race cold air intake that is an open filter element. It does sit down here, lower in the bumper. It is not closed. Some people are very skeptical of this intake. They have said it loses power, especially the Roush has some of the biggest criticism I have ever seen. So personally, we're actually making these videos for a lot of people out there that say cold air intakes don't make power on these cars. I'm here to kind of disprove a lot of theories that are in the industry and kind of floating around in the enthusiast groups that cold air intakes just lose power across the board. That's just not true, guys. If you have more airflow going into the motor, it makes more power. More importantly, it sounds freaking cool. So that's what we're here, again, to prove today. And who knows, maybe one of the systems might lose power. We don't know that. And then additionally, guys, we're going to be doing a whole slew of parts from the charge pipes to the intercooler blow off valve, a turbo kit and exhaust. So we're going to be testing all the sounds. So not only are we going to be testing the performance of this car, we're going to show you what sounds these intakes make. And I'm honestly, I love my intake, but I'm, I really want to hear the Roush up close and personal. So let's get started. All right. We've got our intakes laid out here, guys. And, uh, we're going to compare all of the intakes. Obviously, there's uh, no scientific data here, but we're just going to take a look at it. So if we're going to pick up the stock intake. So here's the stock intake tube. I mean, pretty small guy made out of injected plastic. Got your, uh, your vacuum lines, your PCV stuff. Got the OEM hump hose rubber. It's just made to fit and it makes a little noise, right? So let's look at our air raid next. So massive difference. I mean, three and a half inch opening closes down to the stock turbo size here, which is very tiny. Again, got your provisions for your hoses, nice injected plastic, got your badge here. So let's pick up our Roush. So Roush, another injected plastic, it's got texture to it. Um, compared to the stock unit, this, this is much bigger right here. Mm -hmm. A lot bigger, same with the Air Raid, much bigger here. Uh, much more dramatic curvature up here. Mm -hmm. Again, nice hump hose. This feels very OEM. I mean, it is Roush. We'll see how much noise she makes. And then our last one, it's gonna be our full race. Three and a half inch aluminum meaty boy. Big cone filter at the bottom. We'll show you the filters later on. But I mean, this is aluminum. It's gonna make some sound. The sound's gonna resonate through this pipe, but we don't know. We don't know if it's gonna make the most power. So right now we're gonna go back to stock and uh, do some dyno pulls. So we've got this stock intake on, just getting those last hoses on right there. And then we're gonna go for that dyno pull. We'll do some editing magic. And this is gonna be our first pull. So here's the air raid intake, guys. If this shit gains horsepower with the stock intake tube, Y'all motherfuckers lied. All 
All right, this is what it looks like, guys. All emptied out, and we're gonna be installing the Roush box right here. Look at that massive cone filter that Roush gives us. That's actually bigger than the full race. So the theory, guys, is that the closed box system on the Roush is gonna make the most power because it is closed. If you close the hood on a car and you re-dyno an open box filter, you'll actually make less power. And we've seen that a couple of times. So closing the unit like this should give us the closed hood effect because the intake is closed off and it goes inside there. So your air is actually being drawn in through the front bumper over here. So it's like a ram air effect. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what the Roush yields. All right, guys, we got a Roush intake in, and take some photos, and we'll do some dyno pulls. All right, guys, for the sake of time here, we're gonna put the full race intake on right now. Before I start talking about uh, the dyno results of our untuned colder intake test, I'm gonna have Derek step up and you guys can go ahead and pause the video and check these results out for yourself. So we've got a stock 2019 Ford Mustang EcoBoost with a stock air filter and stock intake box. It made a whopping 248 horsepower to the wheels on what is behind Derek, this dyno jet, which we think is the happy medium when it comes to tuning. If you guys use a high hub dyno, you might make a little more horsepower. If you guys use a Mustang dyno, you might make a little more less horsepower. For those that, you do, that do not know about dynamometers, this is kind of the medium in the dyno world. The air raid intake, the big tube with the Canon drop-in that is our junior system, made 241 wheel horsepower and 312 foot-pounds of torque. Moving on to, da 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 not gonna say anything yet, our Roush intake, it made 256 wheel horsepower with 335 foot-pounds of torque. Last but not least, my intake, which is the full race motorsports on my car, made 240 wheel horsepower, my favorite number, and 317 foot-pound of torque. So as you can see, guys, the stock car is pretty damn good. Again, this is a torque-based ECU. Obviously, the stock system is stock. It's clunky, clunky, it looks OEM, it's not the sexiest. Hey, it works. The volume is lower to, it's, it's low. It's like, you can hear the turbo, you can hear it in the cab, you can hear it outside. It's not that loud. I give it about a three out of 10 on the, the volume, uh, volume scale. The air raid tube plus the filter, lost horsepower, lost torque. Uh, kind of weird, right? Again, we don't know if this thing makes power yet because we haven't tuned it. A lot of people on the forums, it's a lot of their favorite intakes here, but here are the results. Uh, we talk about the Roush. So the Roush is our winner when it comes to untuned intakes. The result ends up being uh, a gain of eight horsepower and six wheel torque. The fit and finish of Roush is very OEM-like as they produce many OEM parts for Ford. I do highly recommend it. The sound is about a seven out of 10. It does get a lot louder. It is a sealed box, so the sound is contained, but you can definitely hear the turbo spool. Last but not least, just talking about uh, the full race, big pipe, big filter, loudest intake, 10 out of 10, loudest intake, 10 on the Richter scale when it comes to noise, Fit and finish looks super race car. Um, black uh, powder coated big pipe. Made the least horsepower, uh, made the least horsepower, made uh, pretty not, uh, uh, it made okay torque. But uh, honestly, I expected a little more out of it. Who knows, maybe when we tune it, it gets up there. But with the results here, it ends up making the lowest horsepower. Hey, sounds sick. I have it personally on my NX2. I'm not looking to make the most horsepower because I want a sick sounding turbo. 
And if Roush made an intake that fit my NX2, I'd be all over it, but unfortunately, they don't. If you guys don't know what an NX2 is, it's a TurboNX Precision Turbo, that it's a bolt-on, it's a 5252 uh, millimeter uh, compressor and turbine, and the turbo can make up to 520 wheel horsepower with supporting mods. So that full race intake on that turbo makes it extremely loud. But guys, um, here are the results. You, you can take them, you can leave them, you can do whatever you want with them. You can. I hope to start the biggest argument on the internet over this, but this is what happened here. And we're showing you a graph. I mean, we did at least 40 dyno pulls. I spent a lot of money, I've invested a lot of time. Derek and Chase and the entire crew at FFP have invested a lot of time into this project and we're gonna be moving on to exhaust. But we will be tuning every single intake and we're doing these videos as quickly as we can so that we reduce our downtime in the shop. So please bear with us if these videos feel a little rushed. Uh, to kind of wrap it up guys, the Roush looks the best, feels the best. I like it, not endorsed by Roush. I mean, always liked Roush. I have no problem with K&N. k &N filter has pretty high quality. I mean, it's nice, it's got the, the rubber insert. It's got a nice oiled element. Aerate has a nice injected tube. No complaints there. Uh, the full race is a little more race car, a little rough around the edges. So if you like that look, there you go. If you're a numbers person, then I think stock might be the best for you. If you want some sound and you want just a tiny bit of numbers, then the Roush. The other ones are just up to you. Again, not endorsed, not sponsored, not playing any buys. This is, this is paid by Function Factor Performance, and we'll be cutting it off here because we're gonna start tuning these intakes, and I gotta go to another video.